Welcome back, Clashers, and today it is my pleasure to bring to you guys the EWL Season 6 Legendary Division Championship War. So this is it. This is the last war in this division for the season. And as you can see here, Zero Universe is walking away with the championship. So congratulations to both clans making it this far, and of course congratulations to Zero Universe for taking that crown. Now, let's take a look at some of those attacks that put them in first place. But before we get to that, we will show one of the attacks that Pinoy Dragon Milan was able to put up on the board for three stars. So, let's take a look at number 15. Alright, here we go, and we've got the uh, P.E.K.K.A. Bobat. Of course, the P.E.K.K.A. starting off down in the south, going to make that funnel down there, and then Electro Dragon's going to come in from the east, and you can see all these buildings are fairly close together, so the Electro Dragon's going to be able to get very good value up there. And as, every, as the uh, P.E.K.K.A. and the Electro Dragon work together down here on the southwest side of the base, you'll see the main push of the attack start to come in. So there's the first P.E.K.K.A., and then the rest of them are going to follow. And look at the Electro Dragon's Lightning just tearing through those buildings, making a very big funnel there. And it's still not done. It's going to catch a Seeking Air Mine over here but not before it gets a shot off over here on the wizard tower and takes down even more buildings making sure that the troops do not go astray especially the bowlers and the queen see the bowlers started to go and then the electro dragon got such a solid funnel over there that they bounced right back into the base now if i were to criticize this attack at all one thing i would say is uh, a poison is always a good idea but fortunately the queen is in there taking care of those cc troops they're not able to do too much damage before the baby dragon and all those lava pops go down. The rage spell has dropped nicely in the middle there, got everything all grouped up and powering through the core of the base. The king's going to hit his ability there and they're going to work through that wall and edge in closer to the uh, town hall over there. So they're working through that compartment. The town hall is now active, but the healers are still up and they're keeping everything nice and healthy. The army's starting to split up just a little bit now as they work towards the outside of the base. A couple of bowlers down here, but they're going to be able to work their way back up towards the east and back with the uh, main group of the army. A whole bunch of P.E.K.K.A. is still on the map. These two or these four are going to take out that storage and work their way back up here with this P.E.K.K.A., the king, and then of course the queen. So the queen's onto the town hall now. She's easily going to be able to take that down as she was at pretty much full health and still has her ability. So there's her ability, pops that nicely, and now she's able to continue forward. And these P.E.K.K.A., once they start to wrap around the corner here, they're going to be tanking for the queen once she comes out and follows them up here. Meanwhile, over here we've got the bat spells coming in. So the first freeze went down nicely, second one there catches a couple of Teslas with that wizard tower that went down. Now there's no more splash on the, on the base at all, just a couple more defenses, and it is a wrap for this base. So very easily getting things done here. All of the bats are still alive, a lot of P.E.K.K.A. is still on the map, just an incredible amount of strength still on the base. And as the last few buildings go down, this was a very nice hit from Angelo. Alright, now taking a look at Zero Universe's attacks, we've got the hit here on number 6. And what this attack is, is basically a modified HGHB, which used to be really popular. And it's kind of cool to see it tweaked a little bit for the uh, Town Hall 12 hits. So we had a P.E.K.K.A. and a King come in, they're starting off the funnel. The Wrecker's coming in, interesting choice not to give it any uh, any tanking, but it's going to go in followed by the P.E.K.K.A., the Bowlers, the Queen, and the Warden of course. And then the Healers are also going to come in and follow everything in to keep them all nice and healthy as they push through the base. So there's the Rage Spell, Bowlers are just tearing everything up, and we do have a Hound out of the CC. And the queen is going to pop it and start taking care of the pups. Baby dragon's there as well. And the bowlers have worked through one of the wall sections. And they're going to continue on through the, uh, to the eagle. Hog riders came in over here in the east. And in the west we had some bat spells come down. They're clearing out some defenses over there. As the hogs do the same thing on the other side. And basically what that does is that's going to make sure that the queen, the pekkas, and the bowlers all work towards the town hall. So they're going to finish breaking through all kinds of giant bombs right here. The Warden has to use his ability there to save those bowlers. And now they get hit by the tornado trap, the bomb tower is going to go down, and the Warden's ability is going to wear off well before the town hall goes down. 
and a couple of bowlers live even though I'm not sure how they managed to do so but the rest of the army is starting to get a little bit smaller but there are still two P.E.K.K.A.s the healers are up which is a big deal and of course the queen is up at full health with her ability a balloon came in down here that's going to help take care of some of these strag straggler defenses and there's also a baby dragon that's going to come down over here as well to clean up the trash buildings. So that balloon's going to be able to go over here and help take that cannon down. The queen and the P.E.K.K.A.s are over here. The uh, healers are on the P.E.K.K.A.s and they're tanking for the queen. So she can hang on to that ability for quite a bit longer. The only defenses really on the base left are the archer tower and the cannon over here. So everything is looking really good at this point. It's just a matter of being able to push through all this trash in time and get the rest of these buildings taken care of. So we're going to speed up the cleanup a little bit here and that is a very nice modified HGHB and A3 star 4-0 universe. Alright, moving down to number 7, we've got a Hog Rider attack here. Starting off early with some balloons, picking off some of these outer defenses as well as taking out some Seeking Air Mines, at least a couple up here for the baby dragon to come down and get the funnel established. So a few more balloons will come down over here after these ones go in. They're to take out the mortar, and here comes the baby dragon on this side to make the funnel. So everything's going to go in straight towards the town hall nicely. A uh, seeking air mine going cross country, they're not quite going to reach that baby dragon luckily. And that funnel is pretty much set. It would have been a little bit better to get the storage down, but it is going to work. So a couple of bowlers came down, or at least one bowler did. They're taking out the buildings over here to get that funnel fixed and make sure that nothing up here goes down that way. Unfortunately, the bowlers that go in with the king, queen, and wrecker are going to bounce out and head down this way, but it ends up working out. So let's watch as these troops move their way into the town hall. Warden's gonna have to hit his ability right there, and that's gonna keep that damage from the uh, town hall taking out any of those troops up there. So the hound out of the CC is going to get attracted down here to the bowlers, but once those bowlers go down, it can cross over here and then the queen can take it out before it does any harm to the hog riders, which is not going to do any harm until after it pops, but the queen's going to be healthy enough to take out the pups as well. Speaking of hog riders, here they come from the north side. Heal spell is going to come down right there to keep that wizard tower damage off of them. So there it is. Now they're going to move into the first inferno tower. They do find a giant bomb out there, but those hogs are just inside the radius of the heal spell. So they're going to continue onwards, and that heal spell is placed very nicely. They're going to work right into that wizard tower and the inferno tower, get it taken out. And then they only have a couple more splash damage buildings left, and there's one more heal spell in the bag. So the lava hound finally popped. Queen's over there taking out the pups, and there's a poison spell to help. So the hog riders are moving through. They're about to head into the last inferno tower. And then they've got one more wizard tower to take care of. So there's the last heal spell. That's going to keep them healthy as they kind of work around the outside of the Inferno Tower. They do find a giant bomb in there, and that's going to be perfect right there because the heal spell's there to help heal that back up. So now they're taking out the last few defenses, Hidden Tesla in the south and in the west. So they are going to have to travel a bit to get the last defense taken out. But that's fine because the queen's over here. She's working her way through the wall, and she's going to get started on cleanup with that wizard over there. And then over here we do have a P.E.K.K.A. as well, so lots of troops on the field for cleanup and a very nicely executed Hog Rider attack for Zero Universe. Alright, finally we're going to take a look at this Queen Charge Laloon on number 11. So a couple of balloons and minions are going to start off in the north side here. And then a few more, I believe, down here in the east. So there they go. Minions taking out a couple of the trash buildings. The king actually comes in in the east. And he's basically doing the same thing, helping to get that funnel set. So wizards up here, that's going to help with the funnel over there as well. A couple of wall breakers are down. That's going to get that wall opened up. So now the queen can charge in. And notice he hasn't dropped the healers quite yet until now. And that makes sure that the healers don't go over here to the king, who is also taking quite a bit of damage. So the queen's going to get healed back up to full health. Some hog riders are coming in to help make sure that funnel gets, or the uh, clan castle gets pulled. But I think the king would have done that anyway. But it's always good to be safe with that and make sure you have some troops to pull the clan castle. So the queen's going to bounce out and work her way back around and meet up with the clan castle troops right here. Poison spell's going to come down, and that's a big thing for that balloon. Make sure the balloon gets taken out. 
while she's working on that lava hound. And the poison's still going to be up when the hound pops to help take care of the lava pups. So very good value there on the spell. Minion comes down, that's going to help take the pups off of the healers and make sure that none of them are getting taken out before the queen can ca carry on with her charge. So she's going to step up over here, take out that storage, and then the rage spell is going to come down. And she's going to work her way back around that corner. And the healers are going to get into the rage and she can start taking out a lot of stuff over here. She is going to have to use her ability there as the enemy queen was firing at her as well as the expo and everything else over there. But the ability keeps her alive as well as the rage spell. And now the slammer's coming in from the south. A couple of balloons in there with it. And it's going to start heading in towards the town hall. So as it heads in towards the town hall, it's going to get it activated on that shot here. Very nicely placed free spell. And now the slammer's going to be able to take out the town hall. And it will just barely go down as the gigabomb pops. And then the balloons will move on to take out the inferno tower. So there it goes. They're headed in to take out the inferno. The rest of the Laloon portion in the meantime is taking place over here. These balloons are going to meet up with the rest of the group. And there are actually quite a few balloons on the field now. Warden's ability comes in. That's going to keep them nice and healthy as they move in. Take out the Eagle Artillery. And then a Rage Spell is going to come down and push them through the last of those heavy defenses. So we got an Expo over there and the Wizard Tower. And when the balloons are grouped up like this, the Wizard Towers are putting a lot of damage down. So it goes down very quickly, which is very good for the attack. And now all that's left is cleanup, and he had five balloons and a haste spell in the bag, so very efficiently done in this attack, and a very nice three star for the champions. So that's going to be it for this recap. Some very good hits here from the champions. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you want to see more Clash of Clans content from me, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you all next time.